Let's go out live to Channel 2's Dave McKinley in West Seneca. He's been out all day checking on Buffalo Creek and Cayuga Creek. Hello, Dave. Yeah, well, we thought we'd come out here to uh, West Seneca, Mary Alice, uh, to the confluence of the Buffalo Creek, Cayuga Creek, and the Buffalo River. That is where we are right now, the Buffalo River. Uh, water is moving through one side of it, but you can see on this side, the ice jam here, well, it's wandered up pretty thick. Early this morning, a warning was issued for Silver Creek, advising nearby residents they may have to evacuate due to an ice jam. They didn't have to, though, when the jam broke up and the water flowed through. Over near Cataraugus Creek Harbor, there's a spot popular among the locals who say it's a good place to get a barometer of what might be coming. So the lake is open, so that means that there's room for the ice to break up and move out. There are always, of course, a few variables at play. But how much rain do we get before the ice starts breaking up and moves out? If it keeps raining like this, really heavy, and this ice stays here, uh, people might have to come down and dynamite or do whatever they do. In Buffalo, along Casanova Creek, we found ice jams that would occasionally move, only to stop again. And when that happened, you could see the water quickly spilling over the bank and into nearby Casanova Creek Park. Uh, one of my staffers uh, kind of described it as uh, trying to rock your car out of out of snow, and I think that was a good good description of of how it. Uh, comes and goes a little bit. While this sea is delightful to the ducks, it does keep city officials on their toes, observing and getting ready to warn residents if it looks like danger, although he admits that outside of looking on like everyone else, there's really nothing they can do to stop any flooding once it starts. It is certainly a, a force of nature that's uh, uh, something that Physically, in, in terms of doing something, especially in the action, it's unsafe. You know, we can't be out in, in the rivers and uh, doing things while it's actively moving. And those keeping an eye on things here, also the New York State Thruway Authority, the bridge behind me carries the thruway over the Buffalo River. Specifically, what they're watching are those signs over there on the abutments. Those are markers that gauge the height of the ice or the water. We are told, though, uh, that unless it gets to the very tip top of that sign, they don't have too much concern. Reporting live in West Seneca, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.